hi welcome to Eclipse tutorial so I will start by clicking on OK in this very tutorial I intend to develop a restaurant management system so why we wait for Eclipse to finally load up just to let you know the system will be similar to the one I developed in uh, Java net bin. Let's go into Eclipse development environment now. Now we are in Eclipse. We go to File, New, Java Projects, and right there, let's give it a name. So I will call that Restaurant and click on Finish. There. Now that the restaurant folder is ready, right click on it and select New, select Order and make sure you have your window builder selected if it's not selected just drop it down and select swing designer right there once you select the swing designer select application window click on next now let's give it a name so i'm going to call it restaurant so call it restaurants click on finish now you see the program build up that is the restaurant program right there and here i have my design here we click on the design once you click on the design the program will build up and you can see the folder right there okay i guess you can see the design icon right there okay we get the the development environment that's the frame right there if you like you can always go to the source right here and right there in the source there I'm going to change the following attributes but just before then let me take you guys back in here if I run this program now this frame you will see it somewhere here and that is what 100 by 100 stands for so let's run that so that you confirm what I meant. You see that it's right here, 100 by 100. But I would like you to start somewhere here, and I want something of about this size. There. Okay. So that's what I would have to do now. So let's go into the source file here, and right here, instead of 100, I will change that to zero. Then change the other one. That's the width, which is the x axis is zero. Now, the width of my program will be about that 1368. And I will now change the height to 689. If I click on design, you will see the program sort of like build up and that is my file right there so if I choose to run it let's run it and you see you see this dialog box save and launch click on ok and there so that is my down my program and how I will I want it to be close it now that I have my program in place if I double click on the program name itself I will get the whole screen open up for me let's do that again there we go and here I need to click create the following so I will start by selecting absolute file or absolute layer there and once you select absolute layer if you notice the green border around your frame now click inside it there I will now select as follows select a J panel draw that in there the property of my J panel let's go to where it says border right here and change the border select this change the border line to maybe let's make that eight I'm gonna need four of those so speed that up just paste that in there select copy and paste that's number two I need two more copy paste it there 
and we don't need here and maybe one here just need one right here there so I will now rearrange the whole interface and get back to you guys and right here this is how my interface is looking if you're wondering why of the empty I intend to enter the title of there so let's do that now so I'm now come up here right up there select my layer right here let's select that paste that up there and just change the name you can change the name from the property here or if you want you can always go to source file and right there just change the name let's change it to loan management systems that's the name of my program and this is supposed to be the width okay so but one thing first we need to increase the font size which we can always do from the dialog box here right here we can go to the font as you can if as you notice there's nothing saying font here okay we can do that in the code or do it right here let's do it here make that bold and let's select approximately 50 there so we just need to extend extend it about that then 50 might be a little bit too small when we fill it up let's see if i can fill it up maybe 70 let's try 70 and that is 70 let's see if that would be good enough okay that is 70 Take that up and then we need to change it. add an S to it. Yeah, add an S to it. Management systems. Alright. If we choose to increase it more, let's increase it a little bit more, maybe. Let's go for 80 and see what will happen. That is 80. Okay, so I think I'm going to set you for 80 and just bring it there. Yeah, so, you see. Okay, let's run the program. Save and launch. Yeah, there. This is how it's looking now. Maybe I need a little bit of moving. Okay, let's move it up a little bit. So close that and just close it. Yeah. Now let's move this up a little bit more. The next part of it is to make sure we add a layer here. If we don't add a layer to it, we won't be able to use it as we want. As you can see, you can if you will notice the green border, so you click on that. Now we can then add a label. Because you see, we can move the label to whatever location we want. And that label will be known as, let's give it chicken, chicken burger. Copy that and paste that'll be chicken burger meal. That'll be the meal. Go to the code and just get it sorted. Chicken burger meal for that. That's fine. I'll do that. Run back to the code. Okay, increase the font size paste another one and this will be maybe cheeseburger 
let's go into the code as well and change that to cheeseburger back back into the code there okay I now need text box enter text box here increase the font size to 24 as well there and make sure it's bold or oh, maybe plain is fine okay there this is where we enter what's how many border you want okay pay, copy and paste leave that there and repeat exactly the same thing for the next one so what I'll do now is uh, let me just speed up this system but before then let's run it and see how it looks like and this is how it's looking right now it's not too bad so let's continue so I will copy one of these or maybe just copy it all copy and paste it right in there but make sure you have entered a layer there okay make sure there's a layer there now paste what I've copied right there and that's fine and I intend to change the names of each of them so let's go into I think it's easier for me to do it maybe here or if you want let's just do it in the code right in here I'll change that to cost of drink or of drinks and the next one will be cost of mail and the last happens to be cost of uh, the cost of delivery all right there so that is all that done right there I let's add another label need labels here and that very label let's change the font to 24 as well make that 24 there let's extend it about that right there and we now set the properties as follows let's align it to might and maybe we need to extend these and see what we can reset I was actually trying to set a border for this label but uh, I couldn't find it I think what I'll do is let's copy the border of this yeah let's copy that since this label is now the border is not appearing here so I'm just I'm going to improvise come straight into the code right here we we'll see panel and here we have the border for the panel right here I'll copy that now come back straight into this very label let's change to design view right there that is the name of the label and underneath here let me paste this first and just copy this the name of the label copy it and paste it right in front of this and that should give me the label but this is too large for me let me just show you guys what, I, what I've just done that is it right there I will now come back in here change the border this is the button change that to about two two should be okay the name of the label there is no name so we'll make that empty for now click on okay and that is it I have my border in place so I'll copy because I intend to use it as my output copy it to this place and another copy paste it right here all right that is my labels in place for 
the cost of delivery menu and drinks so I will now select all of this let's just select this one so on I will repeat exactly the same thing here come right in here and I need a layer in there paste the layer then paste this the copied component in there there okay I'll just speed that up and get back to you guys 